good. It looks great. Popped it real quick. Mm-hmm. Boom. I think it's about to be my thing. Okay, okay. make it your thing then. Zilla Valentine, ZillaValentine.com. I was like, this won't be my gray suit. Like, Pete Herman has the gray suit. Oh, that that's what you, one. that's, so. okay. So you're wearing it everywhere. I think I'm about to, yeah. Same so everything has too. to match. No, it don't. Okay. <laughs> uh, first off, the photograph, I love this film. I thought it was so great. Just sort of seeing black love told on so many different levels. I'm curious, because if, if I was in a movie like this, I would be competitive. I would be like, hey, our love story is better than you guys' love story down there. I would be a little competitive. <laughs> <laughs> was it any of that going on? No, like they were, we were never really on the set the same time as um, as Isaac and Christina, as Shantae and Alain. And reading the script, I, I knew that story was gonna be beautiful. It was just so rich. And seeing it on screen, it was just captivating. Like I loved watching them. I loved seeing 1980s New Orleans. Um, and it informed so much of, you know, the present day romance. So there was no, no hate here. Yeah, yeah. Ours is better. <laughs> now, I, I love the fact that there, it does deal with our parents and our parents' relationships. And I was just curious, when did you guys realize that your parents were winging it? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that's a word? That's a word. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. I'm thinking about it. Damn. Maybe I was too young to know. Mm. <laughs> I think I was for sure too young to know and mm. have found out in recent years. I mean, I'm, they, they split up, so I was like, oh, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't see it coming from my parents to split up. And I think over time, uh, it's been very apparent. Like, the signs were there the whole time. Like, I was t- telling a story the other day. How I discovered, I always thought my family was planned. Like, all my siblings were here because my parents wanted us to be here. And literally saw a videotape the other day, not the other day, like a couple years ago, of my mom talking to her best friend on camera before the last child was born. And she was like, oh, I'm done. I'm not having no more kids. And my, her best friend was like, yeah, until uh, your husband knocks you up again. And so I was like, oh, my sister was an accident. I had no idea the whole time. And that's just how it is. Yeah. A happy <laughs> accident, happy, happy beautiful sh- accident. Sh- that's yeah, the sure. way I look at it, man. You know, I feel like it was all chaos in the environment and chaos and just young love and things happening quick. And it's just like, bloop, there you go. But, yeah. you know. Um, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that they, they felt whatever they was feeling for each other because it made a beautiful opportunity for me and I made a beautiful opportunity for another. And, you know, it's just more so cultivating it and figuring out, you know, how to grow the seed, you know. I think for me it's like that's because we, we was all just going doing all kind of stuff. So, yeah, I guess like winging it was just in the, in the yeah. essence of it. You guys, the couple's first date in this movie, it's dope. It's interesting. It's different. Uh, and it looked like they were someplace really, really nice. On Twitter and on the internet, they talk a lot about the $200 date. And I just wanted to know, is there a price tag on a first date? Shouldn't be. I don't think, I don't know, I think it's like, I don't know, I think it's ridiculous, you know, that money should be tied up in anything, it has anything to do with anything of substance and real, when it's in its infant stages. When you're getting to know somebody and learn somebody, if you're looking at what's in their pocket, I think you're looking at the wrong thing, especially if you're looking up for them to, pay for something or you had them pay for something. I think it's a stupid conversation, really. I think it seems to me to be a bit archaic. Yeah. And when you look at stuff like this, uh, movies like this, I gotta look at the marriage story and the marriage story is nominated for an Oscar. But this is also a beautiful love story and a beautiful movie. And I feel like there's no opportunity for the Oscars or the Academy to even look at a film like this. How do you feel do you feel like more of our stories would be recognized by the Academy? Uh, I care and don't care at the same time. You know, you you want an objective, uh, or I think you can strive for an objective award show that just nominates what's good, and I don't, that won't ever happen, you know? (laughs) So I can't say anything either way. It kind of just is what it is till it's not. Yeah. You know, you know, I I mean, us getting in the positions to really have a a sort of neutral judging point by which we can uh, approach these things with all the politics and other things involved, um, then I think then we can have an honest discussion about it. I think we're going to continue to do what we've been doing, and that's expanding up, uh, upon stories and, and giving our best and doing what we do best. And if ain't nobody else going to love it, we're going to love it. So, yeah, absolutely. Know. Thank you guys for taking the time to Thank chat you. me. I appreciate, yeah. appreciate it. You guys are showing up. Twitter, and they put me so you good. I like, think I remember that. Yeah, like I saw like a little my name. meme or something. They like put your name under my photo. I'm like, that is, that, y'all don't, we don't all look alike. That's funny. <laughs> How you Hi. doing? Good to see you. Camera's here. Camera's here. Sound? Yeah. 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 Yeah
Zilla, Zilla, if you could slate your name and outlet to this camera. Zilla Valentine, ZillaValentine.com. Anytime you're ready. Man, I love this film. I love how it told two parallel stories on two different levels, and these characters were just so great and so rich. When you got your hand on this material and you guys knew it was going to be like the first true, true, true black romance story since in at least like six years, how did it feel to sort of create that for us? Um, there was just a lot of different emotions. One of them, I mean, once I did become a part of the project, was just honored that I could be a part of something that can potentially be labeled as, you know, a black romantic classic and um, just wanting to do that justice. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, you know, when you get a hands on a project, you I don't know, you never know how people gonna, okay, 75,000 retweets or like, that's not something I'm necessarily thinking about. I just mm -hmm. saw a character that I would have the potential of playing. I was like, okay, cool, I wanna go there. Cause like you have an experience, to, an opportunity to experience on behalf of the character, like love. Yeah. Like you just, you know, to genuinely be able to communicate that feeling, you gotta like, find out what that actually feels like. So, you know, to love, like the films I'm coming from doing before this was like a lot more tense. And I wanted something that just was about adoration and opening the heart and, you know, sort of cleansing the palate of, of all of those things and just being simple and pure and, and being able to love, man. So yeah. like that, that for me was the big part of the, this opportunity. That was dope. Yeah. I want to talk about characters as well, especially with you, Shante, because mm -hmm. Roxanne, Roxanne was a totally different character. I didn't even know it was the same person. <laughs> and you look at these bodies of work that you guys are both building, how do you feel to be able to be a tool, like to be an instrument mm -hmm. in someone else's story? How does that feel to totally be someone other than who you are? Yeah, I mean, it's such a compliment when people tell me that they didn't realize that I was the same person because I've always wanted to be labeled as a transformational actor. Um, but that's what draws me to these different roles in the first place is how far can I go away from what I just did? And still bring that to life and be as believable as possible. So, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> There's a large conversation that happens on social media about the $200 date. And we see a couple of dates in this movie as well. Like, you guys, your characters go to New Orleans. <laughs> that, that's mm -hmm. an expensive date. We, go, we first went to the boat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That or, wasn't a or, date. Or a thing, yeah. That, that, was, was, that was the date. That, that was, was the, date. the, the date. date. But yes, we go to New Orleans, too. So I want to talk about the $200 date because people have a thing. Have you ever been limited to, like, what you can order on a date? Or have you ever, like, do you feel the need to not be able to just get whatever you want? Because I feel like a lot of women have to deal with that sometimes. Um, I'm never going to feel limited because I'll just pay for it myself. I'm going to get what I want. Bang. Yeah. Bounce. <laughs> Ooh, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel a way if someone ordered something so super expensive? Nah, that you got money? not at all. Not at all. Um, I don't, honestly, if I'm on a date, I honestly don't like to order much. Like, I think food just kind of gets in the way sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but yeah, but there's no limit. You can order as much as possible. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for taking the time to chat with me. I appreciate thank you. Thank you. I thank saw you. a guy who was like the girl ordered like four rounds here. Hello. 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 Give me one second. Hello. All right. So please hold for just That card said four minutes. No doubt. Oh, come on, man. You got the Uptown Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, Hang yeah. On, yeah. I think it's about to be my thing. I'm about to get a bunch of them. Where you get that one at? I got this one on the side street in London, bro. God damn. That's the only way you get that, actually. Yeah. I got what the heck, bro. Like, I'm like, oh, all right. You like it? Yeah, that's why you know, I do the reference. Thank you, thank you. Zilla Valentine, Zilla Valentine. Man. Shh. Hey, bro. Hey, bro, we're doing an interview. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. <laughs> well, photograph. I love this movie, man. I love seeing black love on so many different levels. Yeah. Your couple, yeah, yeah, the couple you were in in this movie, healthy relationship, family guy. The, well, Shantae and Elon, yeah. uh, Issa and, and Lakeith. There's so many different types of relationships. Can you talk a little bit about the complexities of black love and how it impacts us as black men? Well, that's why like it's interesting with this movie that we see different aspects of it, right? And you know, for the most part. Especially the last few years, everything has been kind of hard. It's been like hard black love or like, and the craziest situations. Like, yeah, we just, 
we killed a cop. Now we got to be together. Like, <laughs> which, which is a lot. But I think that's a part of it, too. I mean, it's so many different uh, aspects that I love can happen. But I love the fact that in this movie, especially with my character and Tiana, like, we like this beautiful chocolate black couple with a brownstone mm-hmm. in New York. Like, they're doing well for themselves. And they're very honest with each other. Like, it's, I, And I watched the movie again yesterday, and I love... It's sometimes like you know you do stuff, but then when you watch it on screen, you're like, "Oh, look at that beautiful banter there!" Like, it, just, it was beautiful to see because you become an example for May, you know, Issa is a Lakeith's character, where it's like, "Oh, they, they see an example of what this is." Yeah, what it can be. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, and that's beautiful. Uh, speaking of that, uh, my daughter's is actually graduating t- uh, this week, so I'm really excited about that. You play a father. Can you talk a little bit about fatherhood, too? Because there's so many elements of that in here, too, that is unspoken. And just seeing you as a dad, and, and I remember us having a conversation, and you were happy that your son was going to be on the Carmichael show, the brightness in your eyes. Mm-hmm. Can you talk about that and how men step up to be dads? Yeah, I think, because I don't think it's about stepping up. I think it's something we're supposed to be doing. I mean, you had kids, you're supposed to be a father. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just what it come down to. And I, I like the fact, because I, I like playing dads, a dad on stuff, like on film or, or just a small screen, whatever. I like being a dad. Like, And this was exciting watching the movie yesterday. Uh, and it was so funny because my sister said the same thing. Like, it's interesting because I am a dad. It's like you can literally see me as a dad on stuff. Like, It's like little stuff with the... The kids was in the kitchen, uh, yelling at me like, "Look at mom in the kitchen!" Like, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> exactly. but it, it's—I think it's so important that we do display black dads just being normal dads without some crazy situation, or you know what I mean. And that's yeah. what I love about this movie. It's just like, yo, you just seeing me be a dad. Like, hey, go to bed. <laughs> go to Girl, time to go to so. bed. Yeah. <laughs> I want to take an inventory of your characters because you're building up a resume of characters. Mm-hmm. We see you in the, we see Rel in these characters, but then they're nothing like who you are as a person. Yeah. How proud of your characters, and is there one uh, that you're more proud of? It's not one that I'm more proud of, but I love, I do love how different everybody is. But then it's also a little piece of you in each character. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Rod Williams. From Get Out will always probably be my favorite character just because, you know, that character opened up the doors for me being able to play around like I do now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and it, I'm, it's not done yet. Like, I, <laughs> you're going to be even more fascinated with, like, maybe the next three or four films coming out this year. Just, all of them are different. Yeah. Ain't none of them the same, which is why, like, you know, so tell you, tell you, you know, I remember, this is keeping it real, like my agent, like, you, you know, <laughs> asking my manager, like, is he going to be seen too much? Because I'm taking on a lot of stuff. But I'm like, no, nah, because everything's different. You know, I think that's why we love Tom Hanks and Denzel and all those guys so much, because all those characters are different. Yeah. All those stories are different. So as long as you try not to copycat everything you do, because like, yeah, this was successful, so I'm going to do another thing like it. You shouldn't do that. So, like, it's literally films I've done that has nothing to do with nothing. Yeah. None of them I like. And um, I'm glad this is the one that kicks off 2020 because it's going to be crazy, Absolutely. bro. Yeah, what, four this year? Bro, it's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Good to talk to you, man. Well, thank you so much, Zilla. And your outlet. Zilla Valentine. And your outlet. Zilla Valentine. Uh, 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 he well. works for himself. Zilla oh, Valentine. Okay, come. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> All right. Whenever uh, you're ready. Awesome sauce. I really enjoyed this movie, as Thank you know. You. I love that it showed black love on so many different levels where you have your parents and you have your, your friends and have yourself and mm-hmm. it's just all this nucleus of telling the story. How was it crafting that tale mm-hmm. of all these different elements of black love? I mean, this story especially, I was just so immersed in the world writing it. I think it's the most sprawling story I've written. Uh, and I just loved all the characters, you know, and to like, even the smaller characters, like, you know, when you have, like, Rob Morgan or Marsha Stephanie Blake coming in or Jasmine Cephas, even for a little, and Kelvin Harris, like, they brought those those characters to life, you know? And so it was just beautiful to create such a big world with so many different black people, yeah. yeah. Speaking of so many different black people, you're telling two stories on parallel mm-hmm. levels. How was it sort of balancing the tone of it going between one couple to the next couple? Um, I don't think I found that that hard because to me it was like, I know that was like a question as we were developing it, like, oh, will it feel disjointed? 
but to me, like your relationship with your mother is so, t it doesn't matter if you're talking or not talking, like that relationship informs your relationship, other relationships so tightly that I was like, every time we pop to the past and see her mom, you're gonna understand because you're gonna be thinking about how that person affected May, you know? And so for me, it was ne it never felt like I was juggling. It just felt like you were trying to tell the whole story. I had a question for you as a person. Uh -huh. When did you realize your parents were just winging it? <sighs> I think I was probably like late in life. Like tw <laughs> I think I was like 28. Yeah. You know, and my mom was like, give me a break. You know, she really asked me to give her a break because, and it was the first time I thought to myself about her relationship with my father and them just being, you know, as messy as any relationship I've had. Yeah. Yeah. That's when I, I realized at one point, I was like, oh, my mom just been winging it. Because <laughs> I found myself as a parent just yeah. winging like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, there's a conversation that happens online a lot about Two hundred dollar dates, and there's a uh -huh. bunch of date scenes in here what? too. Really, yeah. I miss this. No, there's it's always a conversation okay. about two hundred dollar dates, okay. and like how much should be spent on the first date. You okay. see a first date in here. Yeah. Is there any limits to what should happen on a first date? How much should be spent? How much should be spent? I think it should correlate with it should correspond with how much you make. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's very true. So if all you can afford is a slice of pizza, then y'all should be going to get some pizza. Yeah. But, you know, if you're dating Michael B. Jordan, you should probably get to fly somewhere. Absolutely. Yeah. Right away. <laughs> right away. Um, I, 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 was, I was catching up on the Oscar movies, and I saw Marriage Story, which is a great mm -hmm. film. But I saw this, too, and I, I fell in love with this film. Mm -hmm. As you know, I, from the trailer, I've been yeah, pushing this film. Yeah, thank you. When you look at the Academy, which recognizes all different types mm -hmm. of films, but this film, no matter how good it is, I, I kind of feel like there's no opportunity for it to even be considered an mm -hmm. Oscar film, mm -hmm. even if it's the best film ever, which mm -hmm. I, I think is what's really good. When you go into a situation like that, as a female mm -hmm. filmmaker, as a black filmmaker, do you see that limit? Do you feel that limit? Do you think it'll ever be broken down to where you mm -hmm. guys will be recognized the way you deserve it to be? I mean, I don't really think about that as I'm writing or directing. Like, I want to make something quality that will stand the test of time. Uh, but you can't really control how a system that is not built for you will respond to something. So, you know, Oscars, there's so many factors into why you would get nominated. So I leave that part to other people and, and you know, just try to keep it pushing. Well, it was very beautiful to see Black Love on the big screen. Thank you. You did a great job. Thank you for giving us this. Thank you so much for supporting it. I really appreciate, I appreciate all, you. all your posts, <laughs> all your love. Thank you. It's Thank you so much. Yeah. No problem. Bye.